Hey guys, what is up? It is Lee here and welcome to a new video. This is going to be a soul rune crafting guide and on screen now I've got the minimum requirements that you're going to need for doing soul rune crafting. So Fight Club Quest is a requirement for accessing soul runes completely and that is accessed by getting tier 9 in overall Menaphos reputation. 90 rune crafting as well as the requirement to make soul runes, so I've put 90, 90 plus rune crafting on there. 93 summoning for the Abyssal Titan familiar. If you're slightly lower summoning, you can use an Abyssal Lurker, but it might mess your presets up a little bit. Um, so um, an Abyssal Titan is the perfect uh, for the preset that you're going to be using. Wilderness Sword 1, that is uh, granted from the Easy Wilderness Diary tasks, and that gives you access to unlimited Edgeville teleports. Um, a massive uh, to small room pouches, so this is all the room pouches. You can possibly lose the small one, but you're going to need a massive, giant, large, medium at least, and also a small one. These are all obtained, or the majority are obtained by killing the creatures in the abyss. The massive pouch is gained by, by rune spam points, and it lasts for, I think, 42 uses per massive pouch before fully degrading. Um, a Wicked Hood and Tokens, they're only for the first method in this video that I'm going to be showing you, so don't worry about that if you don't have a Wicked Hood or you don't have the Teleport Tokens to go inside it, you know, we're going to show the other method as well. And also, a temporary use of a Soul Talisman to actually gain access to the Soul Altar, which I'll show you where it is at the end of the second slide of the gear and the presets, which we're going to move on to uh, right now. Right then, we are onto the action bar and also the presets now. So on the left hand side, we're going to go from the gear first. Now we are wearing the Infinity Ethereal Rune Crafting set. This is obtained by combining fragments that you get from a rune span or even get, getting it on the treasure hunter like I did back in the day. Um, and what this does, the full set gives you a 50% chance of not degrading your pouches when rune crafting and also the top can store 12 essence so it acts like another pouch essentially and also the helm or the hood acts as a wicked hood as well and you can teleport about the altars if you have the teleport tokens. Now combining this with our offhand which is the rune crafters catalyst fragment your pouches will degrade 75% slower than normal and this does stack with the infinity ethereal uh, ethereal's 50% so yeah that it combines it to a 75% slower degrade time on your pouches so moving on to the right hand side now we have our preset of all the pouches you can lose the small pouch if necessary but we have the massive giant large small and medium pouches there in the preset we have it then filled with essence and one inventory space uh, free for when we do make soul runes because when you're making soul runes it does require one free inventory space and then Onto the familiar, we are using an Abyssal Titan so we can store an extra 20 pure essence at any one time, which is very nice. Moving down onto the action bar, and as you can see, I've keybound my pouches and my ethereal in certain places, along with my summoning familiar and my wilderness sword. So it is advised to do it in that order as well, because of how we're going to be loading the items in the preset and how we're going to be filling our pouches and stuff like that when we come to banking. So I'll move on to how we're going to get to the soul altar to begin with to unlock it and then we'll be moving on to actually how we're going to be going about our banking and what order to do our presets in. Right then, so getting to the soul altar, knowing where it is and getting started that way. So have your soul talisman in your inventory and then end up teleporting to Menaphos. When you're at Menaphos you want to make your way to the Imperial District and keep running west until you know until the map starts to deviate southwest really and you come across a rather large fountain. When you do see this fountain it will be full of water completely and what you need to do is just simply use the soul talisman onto the fountain and that will create the uh, soul rune entrance now you want to go down there and then there'll be a slight path until you see the mysterious runes enter them you'll unlock a music track you'll also see a cat in there as well and that's it that you don't need your soul talisman anymore you can stick that back in the bank and you don't need it for the presets or anything like that it is just a fully a one-time use and that's a job done and done and dusted Okay, so going about ordering your preset and doing it in the right order, so you want to open your bank, right click the massive pouch and click fill. Then you want to load your preset to whatever you have that down as either in numbers 1 or 2. Make sure you do have your familiar in your same preset as that as well, um, so it all loads in one. Then you want to do your action bar keybinds from left to right in order, in my case it is 1 to 6, you guys can copy that if you want. Open your bank, reload your preset and you're good to go to teleport away. 
Right then, so this is method one, and this is with Wicked Hood teleports and using the teleports to soul alter method um, rather than running through the abyss back and forth, which will go on to method two. Now, this XP per hour differates between 370k to 560k. 560k is with bonus XP, of course, um, and obviously you're going to be using the Demonic Skull. That is the item in the top right hand corner next to my helm icon. Now, what this does, it increases the runecrafting base XP uh, to 3.5 times the XP, and this does stack with bonus XP but only by 1.5 times, meaning that you're going to be getting a 4.5 times XP boost when you finally finish charging the altar and make the runes in one session. Now on a normal run for me or with someone that doesn't have clan avatar at the moment 3% and uh, refer a friend 10% then I'm currently getting 99k XP drops. I think if you have refer a friend and um, clan avatar boost you're going to be getting well over 100k XP drop every I think it's every 14 minutes depending on how AFK you are when you're filling or charging up the altar. So essentially, if you have everything that I have regarding gear, familiar pouches, you're gonna be depositing 100 essence every time into that charger, and the maximum the charger takes is 400 essence, hence the four trips that we're gonna be doing during the process of us charging the altar before we can teleport to Edgeville and then run to the abyss, which we'll get onto in a moment. But once we get everything charged up, you'll get a warning message saying you cannot charge this altar anymore. Now when you do get that uh, message, simply teleport back to the bank, load up your preset as per normal, but this time instead of teleporting with your Wicked Hood or your um, Ethereal Hood, you're going to be then teleporting to Edgeville via the Wilderness Sword, running through the Abyss, entering, or running through the Wilderness, entering the Abyss and going straight to the Soul Altar and you're going to be clicking Craft Runes on there and then you're going to get straight back to actually charging the altar once again. So it's a very simple process. This is method one, 370k per XP per hour without bonus and depending on how AFK you are, you probably get more, you probably push that to over 400k, um, that is without bonus and then you know 560k XP with bonus. It, you could probably get slightly more again, but it all depends on how non-AFK you are and how much you're paying attention. On to method two then, and method two is gonna be pretty much similar to method one, just we're gonna be teleporting differently. Now you're gonna be loading the preset and banking the same way with a max cape, completionist cape, or even uh, a lodestone if you don't have access to any of them kinds of capes. And instead of actually teleporting with a wicked hood, you're gonna be teleporting to Edgeville and running through the wilderness to the abyss immediately. And doing it this way means you can just click on the altar, then, charge, then deposit your essence and charge the altar, teleport back, reload your preset, teleport to Edgeville, run back through the wilderness into the abyss and then click on the altar again to make the runes and you're going to be getting less xp drops around 24k xp i think with bonus xp the rates are on screen um, but overall it's going to be a slightly lower amount of xp per hour with the amount of running you're going to be doing and obviously depending on where you're going to be spawning in the abyss with the wilderness sword if you have the higher tier wilderness swords you gain access to a an, um, a special ability where when you enter the abyss it could teleport you directly to the center of the abyss which helps a lot um, but other than that you might get a weird spawn or you might get a spawn which is a very uh, or in a different position to where the soul um, rift is so you're gonna have to like run around that way so causing more time it's similar you know similar circumstances when you're going to be making the main bulk of the runes during the, the first method but with this, you're going to be running through the abyss constantly, so there is a little bit more of a grace time period in between sessions there compared to just simply teleporting on a wicked hood and teleporting straight back to the altar. So this XP per hour is 330k without bonus. You could probably push that even more if you have Avatar 3% and uh, refer a friend, and if you're not really AFKing as much as I was when I was doing this, kind of like pleb tier runecrafting, and it is 480k XP, you probably push that even more with bonus XP, as bonus XP only stacks by 1.5 times, like I said previously. So that is pretty much it, it's just rinse and repeat once you get the presets going down, and once you get the method sound and working rightly, then uh, it's easy going, and it's a fairly AFK runecrafting XP, if you're doing it uh, either method really so you're going to be spending quite a nice amount of time at least um, 
a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes per hour AFKing, charging the altar, which isn't too bad to be honest. And uh, yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short and sweet runecrafting guide for the soul altar. I decided to make this content to in one of my, well, I decided to make this as a Menaphos video essentially because I don't really have anything major to explore in Menaphos with me being all 200 mils in combat and slayer. Um, so yeah, I didn't really want to make a loot on killing a thousand creatures when I'm not getting any XP and I don't really intend to do that at the moment anyway with me going for actual XP. So yeah guys, um, I do hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, hopefully it helps you out. And uh, yeah, as always guys, hope you have enjoyed the video and I shall uh, see you in the next one. So have fun, stay safe and peace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would